What's up, everybody? This is not clickbait. It is exactly what the thumbnail says. She asked me, should she get a colon cleanse? Okay. All right. Backstory. You got, you got to get a backstory. Okay. I have always suffered from not being able to go to the bathroom regularly. I, that has been something since I was a baby all the way up to a grown woman. That's something I always had to deal with. So I used to go get colon cleanses regularly. And that helped me out some. Each time I went, I lost like two pounds in my stomach. So, and I did tell people about it, right? Then I knew, I was like, okay, I'm going through this and I'm getting my colon cleansed, you know, before I go on a trip, I'm getting my colon cleansed, you know? I did used to tell people this. Well, a girl I knew, I went, I used to work with her a long time ago. She inboxed me and said, should she get her colon cleansed? I'm not gonna say the name. I don't know. I don't know, if, should you get your colon cleansed? I don't know your colon. What I look like, the colon whisperer? I don't know. <laughs> but if you feel like you should get your colon cleansed, then maybe you need to get your colon cleansed. Okay, this is the thing about getting your colon cleansed. Um, for men and, men and women, um, yes, it's for both. So if you're a man, don't be like, oh, I gotta get my colon cleansed, no. Nah. You should get it done too, especially if you take a whole lot of medications. Um, Cause you got a lot, you got to detox that stuff or, or do a detox, but you got to get those toxins out of your body some kind of way. If you don't go to the bathroom, to the bathroom regularly, like I do, you got to get that stuff out of you. Cause you got a lot of a buildup. Okay. Um, what they do is you would go to a, a building. It'd be, you probably be the only one in there. That's, that's normally how it is. And um, they ask you a questionnaire, like with medications and stuff. And then whoever that particular therapist is will look over it and make sure that you are able to do it with the medications you're on. I wasn't on any medications when I was going. I'm still not on any. So, of course, I was clear to go. Um, you go into a room. It's a big machine, right? Um, and so... You would take your pants and underwear off. You would get onto the machine and lay back. Well, it's a it's a, like a uh, water that would be going into your rectum, but it it's like a it's about the size of a pencil, y'all. As far as uh, you know, thickness, it's, it's about that that thick. You just stick it in just a little bit, about that much. So it ain't like you sticking it all the way up in your butt, no. Sticking it in about this much. And from there, you will lay back and that water will come out and go into your colon. So each time it will go in, you will try to let as much go in as possible, then you'll push out. And then and then each time it, it's going into like a um it's going into something, I don't know, but it's under you and it's flushing into like a a big commode. <laughs> and so you, you're doing this over and over and over for like 45 minutes, okay? Um, it sounds disgusting, but it could save some of y'all lives. I don't know. If you got so many toxins up in you, you do need to get it out. Uh, I definitely recommend it if, um, like I said, you don't go regularly. I'm jealous of people who do go regularly because, I mean, I'm so jealous of Tweezy is not funny because he's always went regularly and I've always been jealous of him and my kids go regularly. I'm the only one that don't go regularly, so I have to do extra stuff to go. Um, what else? So you sit there, you let it go, the water go up in you and just until you can't hold it no more and go. Up in you, then go. Then up in you, then go. Then at the very end, if you want that particular um, therapist to, they will look at your bowel and tell you what's going on with you. If they see too much yeast in you or all that, they'll do it if you want them to. Um, if you don't want them to, you just say, honey, go on, I, I, don't, I don't got time for that, you know, and go on about your business. But again, I have lost two pounds every time I went. Lost two pounds in my stomach every time I went. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I can't answer her question. I don't know if she should go or not. It, 
because I don't know her um, personal, you know, what she's personally gaining from it. Is she, do she go regular? Because if you go regularly, no. I don't even see no point in you doing it because you're already flushing your body out. Um, but if you don't, I think that's a good start for you. If you're trying to start a diet, I think that's a good start for you because now you done flushed out all that bad food and now you're putting clean food in you. So I do recommend it for that. I'm not a doctor. I don't know, but I would think that that would be good for that. It's really a good jump start. Um, make sure you drink plenty of water after and before. I can say that. You will get dehydrated if you don't. Listen to what I'm telling you. You're going up and you're pushing out. So if you don't have any water when you leave, you done pushed all the water out because when that water go up in you, you peeing and defecating at the same time. So yeah, you can be dehydrated. So you would definitely need to be fully hydrated before you go and fully hydrate as soon as you leave. Um, so if you're interested in that, look up colonics, um, look up internal fitness, um, anything along those lines is gonna run you from 75 to $100 per session, yes. They do have packages, um, starter packages, a lot of people, do the foot baths, you know, like the, what is that? The ionic foot detoxing, they do that. I have had it done. I don't, I don't, personally don't know if it really worked and I, I don't know, um, but I do know the colonic did. So I know y'all like what in the world, but I'm, I'm just giving y'all what I know. So like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification, better be notified when I upload my newest videos. Peace out.